Have you ever wondered how small organisms like bacteria can make you so sick? I mean, think about it. Your body is massive with millions, I mean billions of cells. Why would bacteria even begin the process of infection and causing sickness? Well, millions of bacteria can band together and act in unison by sending signals back and forth to each other. This communication is called quorum sensing. Quorum sensing, upon closer inspection, is very much like how rumors spread in our day-to-day -day lives. Meet Nikolai, our protagonist. She's a happy little critter full of energy and joy. Nikolai really likes school. She likes to have fun with friends. She enjoys strolling around the playground. School is just such a fun place for her. But things are about to change soon. Here comes the bully. The meanest critter in all of elementary school. He is known to infect people with his misery and unpleasantness. And today, he decides to pick on Nikolai and go about school spreading an awful rumor about her. He's smart. He doesn't confront Nikolai directly, but rather focuses on spreading a nasty rumor to the class, hurting her through her friends and classmates. Soon, Everyone is making fun of poor Nikolai. All of a sudden she feels isolated, her friends no longer want to play with her, even the playground's lost its charm. She starts to feel weak and defenseless. Luckily though, the principal of her school is there to help. The principal scolds the bully and punishes him for being mean to Nikolai. The rumors begin to disappear and Nikolai thankfully manages to overcome her attack from the bully and his nasty rumor. So how does this relate to quorum sensing again? Well. Take a look at this bacterium. It has a signal producing protein which creates and releases these autoinducers. Now the autoinducers behave like signals which eventually trigger a response in other bacteria to engage in some group behavior. In this case, harmful bacteria attack the body. Last is the receptor. The receptor on the bacterium is what receives these signals creating the chain reaction and response. Wait. But weren't we just talking about Nikolai? Where did this stuff come from? Well, in our story, Nikolai represents a healthy body hosting millions of bacteria, which can be detrimental to the body. The bullies in this story can be thought of as bacteria. These bacteria are continually producing autoinducers, the molecules which send signals to other bacteria. When the bacteria haven't multiplied enough, they have little effect on the body. Just like how the rumor has little effect on Nikolai when very few people hear about it. It is only when the bacteria reaches a certain threshold limit that it starts acting together to infect the body and make it sick. And the rumors get to Nikolai and she feels really bad. Now, one way to treat a new infection is to use antibiotics, which are just medicines that locate and kill bacteria to prevent the disease. The principle serves this role, specifically targeting the bacteria, causing them to lice or die. He is the anti-bully. Aha! Now let's fast forward a few years. Nikolai has now grown up. She is looking forward to a great sophomore year in high school. But she is in for a shock. The bullies have grown, they are now bigger, better and smarter and have come up with a new and improved plan to attack Nikolai. Here come the bullies once again, they start a new rumor. Unlike their simple transmission of the rumor by speech last time, the bullies start spreading the rumor this time through text, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Snapchat, Tumblr, Reddit and even harness the universal appeal of Yahoo Answers. The rumor quickly spreads around the school, similar to what happened years before. Nikolai, now sad because of the rumors, turns to the principal for help again to deal with the bullies. This time, however, the principal is not able to stop all the bullies from spreading rumors. Seeing as the principal is unable to help, with Nikolai close to a breakdown, her friends decide to pull together and help her fight this infectious rumor. They come up with a plan and counter the rumor about Nikolai. All seems to be fixed and Nikolai's happy life is restored. Now let's compare what just happened with Nikolai to what happens with bacteria. Suppose you use an antibiotic to fight bacteria. The antibiotic plays a role similar to the role of the principal in our story, that of disciplining the bully. After a while, the pills don't have as strong an effect because the surviving bacteria multiply and the bullies learn to escape the principal's watchful eyes. This is known as antibiotic resistance. 
If antibiotics don't work anymore, how can we prevent bacteria from harming the body? Well, we just have to look towards Nikolai's smart friends for the answer. What Nikolai's friends did is similar to how we can stop worm sensing communication among malevolent bacteria. One way is through using an inhibitor which stops the signal producing protein from producing signals. What Nikolai's friends did was tell other people to stop texting the rumors to their friends. Another way is introducing a competitor so that the bacteria receives the wrong signal and does not react to harm the body. Nikolai's friends used their phones to send a different text message, one that was completely opposite of the rumor. Finally, the auto-inducers themselves can be affected so that they cannot function properly. When the high school students' phones had no connection, they could not receive the rumors that were being spread. All of these are different ways that quorum sensing can be stopped. By using these, Nikolai's friends were able to counter the rumors and make her happy and healthy again. When we get sick and antibiotics do not work anymore, maybe we can also use these methods to make ourselves healthy again. Scientists are still researching and debating on how to do so, but it has the potential to lead to a better, brighter and healthier future for the human race.